Hannah. Hannah Baker. It's me, live and in stereo. No return engagements, no encore, and this time, absolutely no requests. Get a snack, settle in, because I'm about to tell you the story of my life. So let me tell you about how my digestive system failed. Basically, the digestive system works to break down the food that we eat into small molecules that are then absorbed into our body. These molecules are nutrients and vitamins that our body uses to function and keep us healthy. First, the body ingests the food, then breaks it down through mechanical and chemical digestion, absorbs the molecules, then eliminates it. Unfortunately, this was different for me. Guys, I'm starving. What should we eat? Do they serve supersized McDonald's anymore? Don't you think we should eat something more healthy? But why? We had a lot of junk food this week. Hmm, I wonder what I had for lunch today. Hmm, I wonder what I had for lunch today. Over time, people started noticing my weight gain, and then they started avoiding me. Hey Hannah, I had to eat kale. Lose that belly. Some good watcher. <laughs> some good recipes. Eat you know, this, okay. not that. Okay. Um, do you have this in a bigger size? Oh, I'm sorry, I think this is small. We don't have it for you. <laughs> Oh my god, why are you eating all that food? You're gonna get so fat. Oh my god, it's so cute. Yeah. I love this hat. How much does it cost? Why did you guys invite me? You guys are gonna come. I guess you don't fit in with us, if you know what I'm saying. Sorry. James. So about my test. Oh, what have you been eating lately? Um, burgers, fries, and Taco Bell, Starbucks. Oh, this can't be good for the baby. Aren't you pregnant? Aren't you pregnant? I don't think I'm pregnant. It's just my belly. Well, according to the scan, you're fat. And if you keep eating this way, your time will come. First, the food travels down the mouth. Chewing breaks the food into pieces that are more easily digested while saliva mixes with food to begin the process of breaking it down into a form your body can absorb and use. Next, the food travels down your esophagus. The esophagus receives food from your mouth when you swallow and delivers the food to your stomach by means of peristalsis. Stomach holds the food and releases enzymes such as pepsin, trypsin and chymotrypsin which break down the food and then releases it into the small intestine. So it's made up of three segments, the duodenum, the jejunum and the ileum and breaks down food using enzymes released by the pancreas and bile from the liver. Muscle contractions help move the food through and mix it with digestive secretions from the pancreas and liver. While the duodenum is responsible for the breakdown process, the other two are responsible for absorption of nutrients into the bloodstream. Next is the pancreas, which secretes digestive enzymes into the duodenum. The gallbladder stores and concentrates bile and is released into the duodenum to absorb and digest fats. The liver then processes nutrients that is absorbed by the small intestine. Bile secreted by the liver also helps digest fats. It also detoxifies potentially harmful chemicals. The large intestine, also known as the colon, connects the small intestine to the rectum. It is made of sesum and is responsible for processing waste. I've been taking my time. I feel like I'm out of my mind. I feel like my life ain't mine. I don't want to be alive. I guess you don't fit in with us. So, so after eating all the junk food, 
my organs ended up failing, and that's why I'm dying. Hannah died from obesity, a condition of having an unhealthy amount of excess fat. This was caused by her unhealthy diet and lack of exercise. Hannah could have prevented this from the start if she chose to eat healthier and exercise. What we didn't know is that Hannah also suffered from GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, which gave her chest pains. This happened when her stomach acids went back to the esophagus. This also happened during most meals and added on to the emotional pain we gave her. She could have treated this with antiacids, but chose not to. Along with this, Hannah had gallstones, stones in her gallbladder that were formed from excessive cholesterol and bilirubin in her bile, which is secreted by the pancreas and stored in the gallbladder. This caused her abdominal pain, which caused her to fall down the stairs. Hannah could have treated this if she ate healthier food and maintained a low cholesterol diet. Instead of ridiculing and making fun of me, you guys should have supported me through the tough times. But now it's too late.